Hi everyone, I'm Autumn with the Autumn Review and today I'm going to be doing a review on Perfect Chemistry and it's the first book in the Perfect Chemistry series by Simone Alcalis and it is about um, a boy named Alejandro but he wants to be known as Alex and um, Alex and Brittany who is the lead female character. Um, it, the book takes place in the Chicago area and um, Alex and Brittany are seniors and um, Alex is from the south side of town which is um, heavily Hispanic and uh, Alex and his family came um, to the United States from Mexico and um, his father got involved in um, a gang, a local gang in that area, and um, he was killed, and, and Alex was witness to that murder, and um, Alex gets involved with the gang as he gets older, and um, so that's, that's the kind of life that he is living, and he's the um, primary caregiver. I mean, he has a mother, but um, Alex is responsible for his taking care of his family, and he has a mother and two younger brothers, so this is the way that he feels like he can survive by being in this gang and having that, he, what he feels like is protection. And... Um, Brittany is from the other side of town. She's wealthy and she's white and she's, you know, captain of the cheer cheerleading squad. She's, you know, straight A student. She has a boyfriend on the football team. Um, just, you know, completely different. They live completely different lives. But Brittany she's got some family secrets as well her um, she has an older sister who is disabled and not many people know that that where she uh, you know in the high school and not many of her friends know that she doesn't allow many people um, to see that side of her life so you know from the outside Brittany looks like she's got a perfect life and that she's perfect and has has no problems but um, so how the two come together is, um, I mean, they run into each other at school, of course, here and there, but um, it's their senior year, and they have chemistry together, and they are paired as partners, and um, of course, neither one of them are happy about it because they're so different, and um, Brittany's boyfriend is also in the same class, and he's he gets paired up with somebody else because they um, they're paired by alphabet. So, um, like I said, so Brittany and Alex get paired together, and they start working together and flirting, and um, then they ultimately develop a relationship, and. Uh, I won't really go into what else happens because I don't want it to be, I don't want to ruin this story for you, but, um, you know, they, they do fall in love and um, they have to overcome a lot of diversity and, and uh, in order to be together and ultimately they have to decide if that's worth, if being together is worth the risks that involve them being together so um, because naturally uh, Brittany's not into the gang lifestyle and um, and Alex doesn't want her to be part of that lifestyle and he wants to get out of it because Alex is also very smart and um, you know he he wants he would love to have a better future and he wants to change um, course of, of life for his brothers as well. He doesn't want either one of his younger brothers to have that gang lifestyle. So, um, 
So again, in the end, they have to decide if it's worth the risks or not. So my thoughts on the book were, um, this was a book that was recommended to me by several of my blogger friends as well as author friends, and um, I really, I really did enjoy it. And um, like I said, I think it was, you know, the story dove in a little bit deeper than I, I think I was expecting. I, when I first read the synopsis, I felt like it was, you know, kind of going to be your, um, your bad boy falls in love with the pretty popular rich girl. And, um, you know, I was hoping that there wasn't going to be a lot of fluff and that there would be a little more depth to the characters. And there was, um, so I enjoyed it. And as soon as I finished that, Perfect Chemistry, I went and bought the next book in the series called Rules of Attraction, and um, that's, it, it is Carlos's story, and Carlos is Alex's young, one of his younger brothers, Carlos is the middle child, so um, it picks up where, uh, like a few years after uh, Perfect Chemistry ends, and um, Again, without giving any of the story away, I really loved the way that Perfect Chemistry ended, and um, and uh, I loved the way that Rules of Attraction is where it, where it's going to pick up from there. So um, I'm looking forward to. I I read like the first chapter, I and then. Um, I've had to get some other books read for review, but I'm looking forward to picking it up again because it, it is a, a good series, and I've heard that it even it gets better as the series progress series progresses. There will be there are three books in the series for the three brothers, and um, so I highly recommend this series. It is a young a more mature. A young adult contemporary romance series. So um, if you're looking for um, a nice uh, romance that has has some depth to it, um, this is a great series for you. So my rating on this book for Perfect Chemistry is um, I rated it a five out of five leaves. I changed my stars to leaves with my new block design. So go get it, and I will list contact information for the author and um, links to where you can purchase the book underneath my review. So go get it. Thanks, everyone.